this is the video tutorial of the survey software in Excel for the second year surveying engineers in the Technological University of Cyprus. I'll be your speaker from Team Geo 2. This is our software and we'll be opening it. So let's start with our first sheet. We'll be using input starting height, ending height, our stations, our backward shoes, our forward shoes, and we'll be getting rise and fall answers, height, mistake, correct height, and the checks. And now for other data. As we're in station one, we'll be taking a backward and a forward value. As we can see, since backwards is greater than forward, it goes to rise, and vice versa if forward is greater than backward, it will go to fall. And we have our height in every point, our mistake, and our corrected height. And from the check, we can see that each one is the same, so our answers are true. So now let's go to our second sheet for angle calculation. And we'll be using again some input data to calculate some answers. And uh, we'll be having the average angle between two points. So let's go with our data as for first period. And now let's input some data for period two at point A. As we can see, we have some average values, angles between the periods and uh, the total average value between the two periods. Okay, now for our third sheet with location calculate by routing. And for this sheet, we'll be using input starting location, dependent location, our points, our horizontal distances and angles to find some locations with X and Y's. And we'll be calculating the grammatical mistake, the total grammatical mistake, and the angle mistake. So let's start with our data. So we'll use some data for starting point. For the A point, so as we can see, we've got our DXs, our DYs, and our X and Y points, as well as the grammatical mistake and the angle mistake. So let's go to our fourth sheet. So the fourth sheet is about tachymetry. We have input information about a point A and the point B to find the exact location of the X, Y, Z of M. We'll be using input information about the X, Y, Z of A and B, the azimuths on A and the azimuths on B, as well as the vertical angle on M. I already input total oxygen height at point A and total oxygen height at point B. So let's put our other data. Now for the azimuth. and for the vertical angle on M. And there we have it, we have our X for M, our Y for M, and our Z for M. Now for our last sheet, it will be the calculation of area and perimeter between three to five locations. So let's use some simple data we have. We'll use 2.2 for location A, 2 point minus 2 for point B, minus 2 point minus 2 for point C, and minus 2 point 2 for point D. As you understood, these are the X and Y locations for a simple square, and we got our answers. It's uh, the area 16 and the perimeter 16. So this is the end for our tutorial. I hope you found our software helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.